last night, Sunday night football. Yeah. This was the stunner. And I don't want to say we should have seen it coming, Chris, but maybe we should have seen it coming. I don't know. You can't really factor in Patrick Mahomes with an ankle injury. Mm -hmm. I was saying earlier that all the things that we are accustomed now to seeing from Patrick Mahomes, the effortless nature with which he plays, yeah. the freedom, the looseness, that's all premised on him being 100%. Yeah. You take away any of his physical ability, his ability to move, his ability to throw, his ability to do the things he does, and it's more it's more of a chore. It feels like he's laboring. He can sure. still do it, yeah. but it's harder to do it, and he wasn't able to pull off enough points last night to beat the Colts. Well, yeah, and then, okay, you know, like you're saying, there's the Mahomes factor, and then let's, let's add in a few other things. Oh, our starting left tackle is not there. Oh, our best receiver maybe in football is not there. Oh, our other receiver that we're paying like Odell Beckham Jr., Sammy Watkins, is injured and hurts his hamstring early in the game. So you can't forget those circumstances, let alone Chris Jones getting hurt later in the game. I mean, there was just a lot of issues, and the Colts are not a pushover. And the Colts played the game the right way. I mean, I, I think that's one thing I think we talked about and we feared a little bit, and we talked about it on Sunday Night Football last night a little, was if the Colts can control the line of scrimmage on the offensive side of the ball and kind of go on those, you know, clock-eating type drives, yeah, that's hard for a high-octane offense like the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Colts played the game uh, just right. The Chiefs had limited uh, possessions in both halves, really, because of some of these long drives. And that, that really was the difference in the game more than not. Yeah, 45 rushing attempts for the Colts on Sunday night, 180 yards. The Colts had the ball 37 minutes and 15 seconds, 22 minutes, 45 seconds for the Chiefs. Wow. And, I didn't and realize it was you that said bad. last week that yeah. is what they need to do, yeah. but neither of us believe they could do it. Yeah. Slow the game down, right. keep Patrick Mahomes on the sidelines, minimize the Chiefs' possessions. But even then, we thought, yeah, I thought they're still so. not going to be able to do it. Right. I still thought with some of the, the, the injuries that the Colts have had to overcome on defense, you know, secondary, guys just getting healthy on the, on the defensive line, I didn't think they would be able to pull it off because I still thought Kansas City would jump out to an early lead and put them in a position maybe where they can't be patient with the run game. But limited, you know, limited possessions, you know, you have a, a three and out in the first half, and then LaShawn McCoy fumbles as you're driving on a nice screenplay I mean hey that's all it takes in the NFL you know the Colts I mean the Chiefs are a really really good team but when you're missing some of your best players who are being paid the most amount of money on your team and then you get some injuries and having mistakes in a few games I don't care who you are I mean you're you're going to be in Strugglesville as far as trying to win a football game and let's not forget you know with the Colts coming off a a bad loss last week at home they're going, oh, my gosh, we're looking at two and three if we lose this. There's a desperation factor. And, of course, the Chiefs are feeling good about themselves going into the football game, and that always plays a, a, an aspect in it as well. Before Mahomes banged up the ankle, he had a couple of throws that would make us revise our top five list definitely. from last night of yes. the best plays Here's of the year. one of them. Oh, no, that's not one of them. Sorry. No, that, no, no, that would definitely not be one of them. <laughs> Got to throw it. <laughs> but, but, but he had a few of those plays that we are just so – accustomed to it. We just take it for granted. Yeah. Now. But you, you tweak that ankle a little bit and he can't do the things that we're used to seeing. After the game, he explained to reporters how the Colts went about slowing down the Kansas City offense. Here's Patrick Mahomes. They played good defense. I mean, they played man coverage. They they rushed with four people and, and, they, and they found ways to get pressure and, and to cover long enough. And so for us, I mean, Detroit did it last week. Uh, New England did it in the playoffs. I mean, we're going we're to have to beat man coverage at the end of the day, and we got the guys to do it. So now it's about just going out there and executing whenever, the, whenever teams pre present it to us. The Colts have been using a lot of zone before last night, but they realized this is what you need to do, and that's how you coach winning football if you're Frank Reich or any other successful coach in the NFL. You come up with a game plan based upon the opponent that you're facing, sure. and you can't be too proud to ignore what has worked elsewhere right oh our system will work no what works is man sure don't try to play zone against these guys take them man for man especially without Tyreek Hill Sammy Watkins exits maybe you can slow these guys down that, no matter what Patrick Mahomes is doing that, that's ultimately I think what leads them to go okay we can play man to man against these guys when you go no Tyreek Hill you go okay maybe we can dabble in a little bit more man than usual and then you go oh no Sammy Watkins Let's get up in their face. Let's take away some of these plays. Our pass rush is pretty good. They've had some issues protecting lately. You know, let's see if we can, you know, make Mahomes pat the ball one, two extra times and try to get there. Um, but th this, is, this is one of the things I worry about with the Chiefs. 
their ability to be versatile and come up with other ways to win football games. It's just like we saw last year. If the air attack isn't, you know, on you know full steam ahead, then it's kind of like, oh man, what are they going to do? They they can't really run the ball. They don't have a great short passing offense. You know, I mean, do we really ever see a lot of easy short completions for Patrick Williams? No, we don't. So you have that, and then you go on to the defense. I mean, you know, again, the defense. I know they let up 19 points last night, but. Did you ever think they were really going to make a key stop in any of the big moments? No, no, absolutely not. Right? I mean, you just never felt that way. So that's where you worry. The Chiefs are built to outscore you, outpoint you, uh, put the pressure on you on the on the scoreboard. And when they don't have those, you know, players and key aspects of their football team, it, it really shows. And we got to give credit to the Colts for pulling it off. It's one thing no to doubt. say this is what we think we can do. It's another right. thing to actually do it. Here's Frank Reich, the coach of the Colts, talking about the victory after the game. We've been saying that the whole off season. We've been saying it the whole year. This is this is what we this is what we want to define us. We want it all to start up front. When when we got here, you know, with Chris two years ago, and we started talking about what we wanted to build. This is the kind of team we wanted to build, and uh, that was put on display tonight on both sides of the ball. And who would have ever dreamed about a month and a week or two ago? When Andrew Luck abruptly retires, that was a, one of the first things I thought of. Oh, my gosh, we got a primetime game on NBC week five, Colts Chiefs. Oh, what do you do now? Well, yeah. you play the game. Right. And maybe the Colts win. And they did win. Yeah, no, they did win. And they did it with, a, you know, a team effort. And Jacoby Brissett really playing well for the most part of the night. I mean, only he really had the one bonehead mistake. Other than that, you know, just managed the game. Didn't let the game get out of hand in any chance. I think he did a good job of realizing what the game was going to be like in its entirety after the first quarter. Oh, okay, our defense has a little bit of a feel for them. You know, we're going to be able to run the ball. There's no point in me taking any big chances. But uh, Frank Reich can't talk about him enough. I mean, they just always seem to be resilient when their back's against the wall. And uh, that, that speaks to Frank Reich and his ability and his, as a coach and a leader. The Colts weren't the only team to rebound from a tough week four loss to go into a hostile territory and beat a good team. The Packers pulled the same thing off earlier in the day on Sunday. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.